I have an arc barrel exercise for us today. Um, if you guys do not have an arc barrel at home, feel free to do just the same exercises without this. So we're going to start on three red springs. Arc barrel is going to be on your reformer. And then feet can just go underneath your strap on your foot bar. We're going to start just sitting up nice and tall on top of your sits bones. Arms are going to begin nice and long in front of us. Think shoulders down, collarbones nice and wide. And on an exhale, we're just going to start to tuck your pelvis and to begin to articulate your spine over the arc, thinking one vertebrae at a time. Once the shoulders get down, let the head go back. Let your arms reach back with you. Take an inhale. And then on your exhale, nod your chin to your chest, sink, scoop into your abdominals as you articulate your spines all the way back up. Inhaling at the top, and then again, exhale, tuck and articulate our spines all the way back down. Inhale, reaching back, and then exhale, nodding the chin to the chest and rolling up just one vertebrae at a time. Now again, if you don't have an arc at home, you can just do all of these either on the reformer doing some roll-ups or you can do them on the floor with some roll-ups. <sighs> Inhaling at the top, let's do a couple more. Exhaling as we roll back. Inhale. And then exhale again, nod the chin to the chest, articulating our spines all the way back up. Last one. And then once we come back up, we're going to roll ourselves back down onto the arc. Once we get over the arc, we're just going to take the hands behind the head. Let the elbows be open out nice and wide. We're going to take an inhale. And on an exhale, let's just go ahead and curl up into an abdominal curl. And then inhale as we fold back over. Exhale, curling up, just getting to about the tips of the ribs. And then inhale back. Exhale, curl. And inhale, return. Let's go for three. Think about your hips staying heavy onto the arc. And then last one, inhale, exhale to curl. And then inhale, fold all the way back. On our exhale now, we're gonna rotate slightly to the right as we curl up to the right. And then we're gonna inhale, go back over. And then we're gonna go to the left. Exhale, curl, so rotate slightly to the left. And then inhale, fold back over. And just alternating right to left. Getting right into our obliques. Let's do three more. Two. And then just holding all the way back over our arc. Inhale once we get back there. Reach your arms again just back with you. On your exhale, nod your chin back towards your chest and start to peel our spines all the way back up. Now, let's go in for some around the world. So let's keep our arms just nice and long. On an exhale, we're gonna twist and rotate to the right side of the room. We're gonna tuck our pelvis, articulate our spines all the way back down. Just try to get your right shoulder down. Once you get there, look straight up to the ceiling, look to the left, and then curl all the way back up to the left and center. And then we're gonna go to the left. Exhale, tuck, roll back at that left shoulder down. Inhale, look straight up to the ceiling to the right. And then exhale, coming all the way back up and center. Now, if you want to keep your arms long, feel free. Otherwise, you can take them behind the head. Twist, rotate to the right. Exhale, tuck, roll it to that right shoulder. Inhale, go center, left, up, and center. Again, left, tuck, roll it to that left shoulder. Inhale, go center, right. Exhale, all the way back up to the right and center again right exhale tuck roll it back inhale center left exhale come all the way back up and center and then last one to the left rotate tuck roll back inhale center right exhale all the way back up and center then we're just going to bring the arms down at our sides we're going to sit ourselves up a little higher onto our arc onto that lip and then we're just going to lie ourselves over the arc with the shoulders and the ball line just about the to the center of the arc take the hands behind the head take your feet out of that strap 
If you guys have a box, feel free to do this on a box. We're gonna lift the hips up off of our arc and we're just gonna hold ourselves here. Eyes should be looking straight up to the ceiling and then hands just supporting the head. Take an inhale before we begin. And on our exhale, we're gonna hover our right knee up into a tabletop position. And then inhale, setting that foot down. And then exhale, hover the left knee up into a tabletop position. And then inhale, set it down. Exhaling as we lift and inhale lower. Think as we lift and we lower, the foot that stays down is working to stabilize us. And then that pelvis should be staying just nice and still. So finding no movement in the pelvis as we alternate our legs. Let's do three, two, and then last one. Good, lower the hips back down, and then we'll just sit ourselves all the way up off of our arc. So once we come off the reformers, we'll go ahead and just have one blue spring on, everything else can come off. And we'll go ahead and we'll just put our arc barrels right back down onto our reformers. Once you put your arc barrels on, grab a hold of your straps off of the pegs, and then we'll sit ourselves on our arcs, facing our foot bars. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my short loops, just to make it a little heavier. If you need to lighten the load, go ahead and switch to your long loops instead of your short loops. So again, heels just on that nice little exposed part of the carriage. You should feel your core already working to help stabilize you here. And then on an inhale, we're gonna lift our arms up towards the ceiling. And then on an exhale, lowering the arms down to our sides. Inhale as we lift. And then exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lifting up. And then exhale, lower. Now, if you want to add in a little more challenge, you can draw one knee up into tabletop and do the same thing. Otherwise, you can draw both knees up into tabletop, lifting and then lowering. Let's do two more like that. Inhale as we lift, exhale to lower, and then last one, inhale, lift, and then exhale, lower. Good, feel free, relax the feet, give yourselves just a nice little stretch in between those sets if you need to. And then let's recline ourselves right back down over that arc. Again, heels on that exposed part of the carriage, otherwise go one knee into tabletop, other knee into tabletop, and then let's add in some circles with that. So let's inhale, lift the arms, exhale, open them out to the sides, and then bring them down to your hips. Lifting, and then opening to circle around and back up. Just like that supine arm work, just getting that mobility coming right from the shoulders. Now once we get to the hips, pause, and then we'll reverse, going out and up, and then right back down. At any point, if you need to set the feet down, you can give yourselves a little break. You can sit up a little higher, and then we're gonna do one more all the way back down. Now, bend your elbows in at your sides for that offering. Exhale, reach your arms out away from you. Inhale, bend. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bend. Again, really feeling that core working in this nice little recline position. We get a little support of that arc today, but we should really feel our rectus abdominis engaging. Let's do two. And then last one, exhale, reach. Inhale, bring it back in. Let's add in with that. Exhale, reach your arms back out. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, bend. Three more, exhale, reach. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, bend. Two more. Last one. Reach. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, bend. And then just relax. Again, the feet right back down. Feel free if you want to bring your elbows back onto the arc and kind of lean over the arc, you can also do that. And then we're just gonna finish off with our hug a tree. So let's sit back in that nice little recline position, arms to our sides, heels again either on the carriage or in that tabletop position. Opening our arms just nice and wide out to the sides of the room, slight little bend to the elbows. On an exhale, bring the fingertips together. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. 
inhale open hugging that nice big oak tree in front of you think collarbone stay wide shoulder blades stay down out of your ears let's do three two and one and then relax good all right we'll hang our straps back up and then we'll just sit ourselves off to the sides we're going to go three red springs and then foot bars just to our starting position. If you want it a little heavier, we're going to move into footwork. Feel free to add on a yellow spring or a blue spring with those three reds. Let's lie ourselves down onto our reformers and then feel free if you would like your headrest up to have your headrest up. Heels are going to start on the foot bar. They're going to be parallel with each other and then just about fist distance away, so they're about a six bones distance away from each other. Finding our neutral spine. On an inhale, let's go ahead and just press our carriages all the way out. And then on our exhale, we'll pull it back in. Inhale as we push and exhale to pull. Push and pull. So just finding a nice length as we press and then a nice little crease in our hips as we come back in. We want to think that sacrum just stays nice and heavy. Pelvis stays nice and still. And we're just holding and maintaining that neutral spine the entire time. Inhale out, exhale back. Let's do two. Last one, and we'll come halfway in, and this one we'll just hold ourselves at that halfway point. Now, again, think that pelvis stays nice and still. On an exhale, right knee's gonna hover up into a tabletop position, and then inhale, set it down. Exhale, left knee lifts, inhale, lower. Exhale, lifting the right, and then inhale, lower. So just alternating our legs back into that tabletop position, just how we did on our arcs. And then same thing, we wanna think pelvis stays nice and still, carriage stays nice and still. Whew. Exhaling as we lift, inhale low, and we're staying at that halfway point of our carriage. So we should feel those quads working to help stabilize that carriage. Let's go two, and one. And then go ahead, just press the carriages all the way out bend and bring it all the way back in we're going to go on to the arches of the feet they'll stay that same distance away on our inhale again press the carriages out and exhale pull it back inhale push and exhale pull out and in push and pull so think as we press away we're getting our legs to activate and as we come back in, we're thinking about our core drawing in and up our spine to pull us back in. So the legs push, and then the abdominals pull us back. Inhale out. Let's do three, two, last one again halfway and just hold it at that halfway point this time we're going to do little pulses of our carriage for ten nine eight seven three two and one we'll press all the way back out and then just bend the knees and bring it back in we'll go we're going to go toes and balls of our feet on the foot bar they're going to stay that same distance away from each other and then we're going to inhale again press our carriages out and then exhale bend to come back in inhale to push and exhale pull let's just do four more two and then last one all the way back in once we come back in we're going to keep the toes on we're going to press our carriages all the way out and then we're just going to lower and lift the heels for one and we'll bend to come back in this time when we go out we're going to press and we're going to lower and lift for two and then we'll come back in and each time we go out, we're just going to add on one each time we press out and we're just going to make our way up to six And then as we lower and we lift, we're just getting a nice little stretch as we lower, but then as we lift, we're activating the backs of the legs into the glutes. Last set for six.
and then just all the way back in. Now, once we come back in, let's bring the heels back onto the footbar. They're gonna stay that same distance away from each other. And we're gonna just do one bridge. So if you do have your headrest up, go ahead and move those headrests all the way down. Let's take an inhale in our neutral spine. On an exhale, we're gonna flatten the low backs down into the mat and one vertebra at a time, just start to peel our spines up off the carriage. Holding at the top, think send the tailbone to the backs of the knees. On an exhale, we're gonna lift our right knee back up into our tabletop position, and then we're gonna inhale, set it down. Exhale, lift the left knee up into our tabletop, and then inhale, set it down. Exhale as we lift, and inhale lower. Exhale, lift, and inhale lower. And we, as we alternate our legs, think about that pelvis just staying nice and still. So if there was a board underneath your pelvis, it would not shift at all. Let's do one more on the right. And once we get that right knee up into our tabletop position, we're just gonna hold it there. Let's extend that right leg straight up to the ceiling without the pelvis shifting. Inhale, lower the right leg down, and then exhale, lift. Four more lower and lift feel that left side working to stabilize you there two last one bend the knee set the foot down readjust in your bridge if you need to draw your left knee up into your tabletop position extend it straight up inhale lower down and exhale lift inhale lower exhale lift three Feel that right side work stabilize us. Last one. Bend the knee, set the heel down, and then one vertebra at a time to start to roll our spines all the way back down into the mat. Come right back into our neutral spine, and then let's go toes and balls of our feet onto the foot bar. They're gonna stay that same distance away. Press our carriages all the way out. Once we get out there, let's just start our run, bending one knee, lowering the opposite heel, and just working that articulation through our feet as we switch. Just taking that run at your own pace. Let's go for four, three, two, one, and then let's just keep one heel lowered, one knee bent, just stretch out the back of that leg. And then we'll go ahead and switch. Lift both heels up, bend your knees, bring the carriages all the way back in, and then once we come back in, let's just sit ourselves off to the sides of our reformers. We're gonna go on to a red and a yellow spring for some arm and abdominal work. If you don't want it as heavy, feel free just to go to a red spring instead of the red and the yellow. Foot bars are gonna go all the way down, and then we're just gonna go ahead and we'll lie ourselves back down onto our reformers. Once we lie down, let's reach back. We'll take a hold of our short loops into our hands, and then arms are gonna reach nice and long up to the ceiling. Then canes are directly over our shoulders, and we're just coming right back into our neutral spines. Knees are gonna drop into a tabletop position. And then from here, we're just gonna start with our reach and pull. So on the next exhale, we're gonna pull our arms straight down to our sides, and then inhales, we reach straight back up. Exhale the pull, and inhale, return. Think on that exhale as we lower the arms down, we're engaging our abdominals as well. So they're drawing in and up our spine towards our solar plexus. Exhale to lower. Inhale, reach. Let's do two more. If that red and the yellow is too heavy for you, feel free to switch to your long loops instead of your short loops. Now, let's press our arms straight down to the mat. We'll open them out to the sides to circle them around and back up for our arm circles. Exhaling as we press. Inhale the circle around and back up. Down, around, and up. And then once we get it to our hips, let's just hold at our hips and we'll reverse from there. Reach the arms up to the shoulders, bring them out to the T, and then exhale, press to the hips. Inhale as we go up and open, exhale on that press. And 
and then let's just do one more again once we bring it to the hips we'll hold it there we're going to bend our elbows for our tricep press and on an exhale let's press the palms down and inhale bend exhale press inhale bend let's do three two and one bending the elbows and then just relaxing your feet down out in front of us let's move into some abdominal work again if you want to lighten it up feel free to just do a red spring or you can always switch to your long loops instead of your short loops arms are going to reach again just nice and long up to the ceiling we'll draw our knees right back up into our tabletop position and on an exhale let's just press the arms down as we curl ourselves up into our abdominal curls and on an inhale return back down with control again exhale press and curl up and then inhale to return so just nodding the chin to the chest curling up from our bra line and then returning back down we feel our rectus abdominis working to bring us into our curl and then inhale return let's do two more and then on this last one we're going to hold ourselves up there so stay up here on an inhale just reach the right leg out and then exhale pull that right knee in inhale reach your left leg out and exhale pull it back in now if the neck is ever an issue head it can go down into the headrest don't strain your neck think as we draw each knee back in we're engaging our obliques so the right leg goes out right obliques bring it back left leg goes out left obliques let's just do two last one and then arms go up head can go down and then again just relaxing the feet feel free in between sets if it feels good to give your knees a little sway a little hug or a little stretch feel free to get that tension out of your body and then let's just extend our arms nice and long up to the ceiling still in that neutral spine knees are going to drop into our tabletop position and we're going to go back into one abdominal curl so on our exhale curl ourselves up inhale reach both legs out away from this time exhale pull the knees in inhale reach both legs out exhale pull the knees back in think holding that neutral spine as we bring our knees back inhale out exhale back let's do three two last one arms up head down and then again just relax the feet right back down we're going to do one more thing so let's keep those short loops into our hands again knees are going to draw right back up into that tabletop position and then on our exhale let's press and curl ourselves back up and we'll hold extend both legs up to the ceiling on an inhale we're just going to lower our right leg down towards our foot bar exhale use that right oblique to lift inhale lower the left leg exhale lift lower and lift let's do three two last one bend the knees arms up head down and then again just relax our feet last thing that we're going to finish with here will be our double leg long so let's just extend the arms again nice and long knees will draw right back up into our tabletop and then on our exhale let's press curl ourselves back up hold extend both legs up to the ceiling inhale lower both legs down to a challenging level exhale carve up the low abdominals lift inhale lower lower and lift let's do three two and then last one bend the knees arms up head down and again just relax the feet we'll hang our straps back up and then once we hang our straps up we'll sit ourselves off to the sides of our reformers and then let's just go to outside red springs we'll take the other two off footballs are going to go back to that starting position and then we'll put our arcs back on once we get our arcs back on if you don't have an arc you guys are just going to come on your right side for your traditional sideline series and if we do we're going to sit on our right side in the arc top foot is going to be on the foot bar and we're just going to fold ourselves over our heads the top foot is going to be parallel on the foot bar 
feet should be almost at the edges and then our hips are stacked and our shoulders are stacked on an exhale let's just press our top leg out and then inhale as we bend to come back in exhale as we press and then inhale bend so just getting that leg and that glute to fire as we push out and bring it back in exhale away inhale back we're going to do three two and then last one add back now once we come back in let's add in with that so we're going to press ourselves out we're going to lift up into a side sit up we'll fold back over the arc and then bend to come back in so press out side sit up fold over and bend exhale as we go out and lift inhale over and bend let's do three two and then last one and over now once we come back in we'll just hold ourselves in we're going to keep our foot parallel if it bothers your hip at all feel free to move into an external rotation we'll press our leg all the way out and we'll hold ourselves out here this time we're going to do six side sit-ups so on an exhale we're going to lift up and inhale over five four three two and then last one bend and just come all the way back in once we come back in let's switch to the other side same thing on the other side over our arc hips are stacked shoulders foot is going to be onto the foot bar and then on an exhale we're just going to press that top leg out and then inhale bend exhale press inhale bend again just getting that leg and that glute to fire before we add in our obliques let's do two and then last one all the way back in now this time let's press ourselves out lift up into our side sit up fold back over then to come in exhale press side sit up over and in let's do four three and then last one and then all the way back in now again if you need to move into external rotation with your foot if that hip is an issue go ahead and do so hips stay stacked shoulders stay stacked the entire time press that top leg back out and we have six side sit-ups five two and then last one bend and bring it all the way back in now once we come back in we'll just sit ourselves off to the sides we're going to switch to a middle red spring and then we're going to go ahead and we'll take those two outside reds off All right, so once we get those two outside reds off and we're on a middle red, we're gonna stand ourselves onto our carriage with our hands just on top of the arc. Now, once we get here, we're gonna step the feet back into the arc. We'll take the right foot onto our arc and then let's just slide that right heel as far down into the arc as we can get it with the toes up as high as we can we're going to start with some split so keeping both legs long we're just going to press our carriages all the way out and then keep the legs long as we come back in inhale as we press away and then exhale to come back in so getting a nice big stretch in the back of that right leg now if you have a box and you do not have an arc barrel you can go ahead Put your short box on lift your toes up onto the short box and just do the same thing on your box otherwise feel free to come down into a little eaves lunge on this next one we're going to hold ourselves out here and then on an inhale we're just going to bend our right knee 
and then exhale, stretch that right leg long. <sighs> Inhale, bend, and exhale, stretch. Bend, and stretch. Good. Bend, and stretch. Let's do two. And then last one. Hold it nice and long. And then just bring that carriage all the way back in. Good. All right, step that right foot down onto the platform. Up onto the arc again. Try to slide that heel as far down into the lip as you can get it. Toes up as high. And then same thing, inhale, pressing out into that split. And then exhale to come back in. Inhale out. And exhale back. We'll do a few more. And then on this last one, we're gonna hold ourselves out there. Again, on an inhale, just bend your right knee, and then exhale, stretch along. Inhale, bend, exhale to stretch. Let's do three, two, and one, and we'll just hold it out there and then bring that carriage all the way back in. Good. All right, now once we come back in, let's step back onto the carriage. Once we get onto the carriage, we're gonna take our hands back to the top of the arc, and you can either go both feet back onto the wooden platform and then press out into a plank, or you can go both feet onto your foot bar and then press out into your plank. So we're all gonna meet in our planks, wherever you feel comfortable. We're gonna start with some pikes. So on an exhale, let's tuck the pelvis, we'll hike the hips up to the ceiling, and then inhale, stretch it back out. Exhale, tuck, hike, inhale out. Four more. Three, two, and then last one. Now hold your plank. This time you guys are gonna inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Three more. Two, and then last one. Hold that plank. One more thing. Arms are gonna push the carriage out a few inches. Arms are gonna pull in. Arms out and in. Last one. Hold it in, hold your plank. Let's go six. Two, one. Bring it back in, step off, and then let's just set our arcs back off to the side. We'll go back to our two outside red springs. Once we get those two outside reds on, take that middle red off. We'll lie ourselves just right back down onto our reformers and then feel free to have your headrest back up if you prefer your headrest up. We'll take our long loops and they're gonna go right onto our feet. Once we get our long loops onto our feet, Legs are just gonna start up as high as we can hold our neutral spine. And we're gonna begin in our Pilates stance. So our heels are together, toes are turned apart. On an exhale, let's just go ahead and lower the legs down to the springs. And then inhale, hinge to come back up. Exhale as we lower. And then inhaling as we hinge. Think on that exhale as we lower. Again, engaging our abdominals. They're drawing in and up our spines towards our solar plexus. And we just wanna think about those ribs staying anchored down into the mat. So I think that bra line just stays nice and heavy onto our carriage. Ribs just stay gently knit together. We'll do one more. And then once we come back to the top, we'll pause and we're gonna move into our internal rotation. So toes the other heels apart. Exhale as we lower the legs down. And again, inhale, hinge to come back up. 
exhale lower and inhale hinge and we'll just do a few more and then last one now once we come back to the top pause come back into that body stance or external rotation so again heels to the other toes apart lower the legs back down towards our springs we'll pause and then on an inhale we're going to open the legs out to the sides of the room exhale draw the heels together inhale open and exhale close so just trying to stay in the same plane as we open and as we close the legs getting those adductors to work inhale and exhale let's do one more in our external rotation and then once we come back let's internally rotate so toes together heels apart and then same thing inhales we open and exhale close inhale open and exhale close so just bringing the legs open and then the toes right back together so again trying to stay in that same plane as we open as we close and then just getting those adductors to fire up to bring our toes back together let's do one more and then once we come back together just bring the feet parallel hinge at the hips again just come up as high as we can hold our neutral spines let's go back into our external rotation so heels together toes apart and we're going to move into leg circles so on an exhale let's lower the legs down towards our springs inhale open them up to the sides as we circle them around and back up heels together toes apart down around and up so just staying in that external rotation as we circle the legs we'll do one more in this direction once we come back to the top let's reverse again stay in that external rotation we want to think about the sacrum just staying nice and heavy pelvis staying nice and still and that movement just comes from right from the head of the femur in that hip socket last one pausing at the top and then we'll move into our internal rotation so toes together heels apart lower the legs back down towards our springs open them out to the sides as we circle the legs around and back up toes together heels apart down around and up we're going to do two more last one pause at the top and then reverse those circles and then last one now once we come back together just bring the feet parallel bend the knees bring the bottoms of the feet together let the knees open nice and wide let the low back just go down into the mat and just stay for a nice little stretch here heels can be high they can be low down towards your glutes whatever feels best you can always press into your knees you can pull the straps and just take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth we'll just take our straps off of our feet we'll hang them on up once we hang our straps up we'll just go ahead and we'll sit ourselves back off to the sides of our reformers we'll stay on those two outside red springs let's put our arcs back on again if you do not have an arc you guys can either do this on the reformer or you can do it on the floor we'll sit back into our arcs just how we started but this time our legs are going to go nice and long over our foot bars arms are going to reach nice and long away from us and on the next hill, let's just start to tuck the pelvis and begin to articulate our spines over the arc once we get back inhale lifting the hips up exhale start to lower the hips as we nod the chin to the chest lifting our spines back up and then if you can try to hover your legs off that foot bar take an inhale exhale lower the legs start to roll your spines back down inhale reach back lift the hips exhale nod the chin to the chest lower the hips lifting the spine and the legs take an inhale exhale roll it back inhale reach 
exhale lifting back up into the teaser take an inhale exhale lower back down let's do one more inhale exhale as we lift it back up hold that teaser for four three two one lower the legs set your feet to the side and you guys just finish your arc barrel class